Hi, this is Paul from paulbrabby.com and this is a bit of a technical analysis on Microsoft longer term. What we're looking for now and uh, looking at the behavior using the LE Wave indicator suite from globaltradingsoftware.com and where I will be looking for re-entries into this. I, I do have uh, my average holding position is down at 164 for Microsoft. It doesn't mean I don't want any more and right now we have a great opportunity if this support holds uh, to start adding to our Microsoft position. So this is the weekly chart. I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Trading View platform. It's available for lots of other platforms. So what I've done on the weekly is defined an, um, this this current channel that we're in all the way back from May 2019. Sorry, January 2019. Um, really, where you can see on the um, the Elliott Wave oscillated down the bottom, where we actually broke the low here and crowned red that was the last time we did that so that really that's the start of this current trend and that's what we're in right now so that I've isolated the wave count there so it's given me a one a two a three and it's this wave four pullback that we're interested in right now we're going to talk about that in a little bit more detail but first of all one of the things you really need to look at when you are framing the chart uh, this of an instrument that's been trending like this is to understand the touches at the top and the bottom are important but this line of best fit this center line of the channel has to have lots of tests and it does both from the top and from below real great support on multiple occasions here and then recently a bit of resistance there before it came back down on this wave four so we could say now that this is a great channel we've just tested the low of that channel and it's the wave four and this is where the Elliott wave indicator suite comes into its own really because it's about understanding this profit taking behavior uh, so you know really basically this started around November 2021 we're just in the beginning of May 2022 now on this weekly time frame so we've come down and we've found support in this green zone so these are probability pullback zones for a wave four and this represents if it finds support here 85 percent probability it's going to go on and hit that fifth wave target zone which is automatic uh, that zone there so it's around about 375 dollars in the middle of that zone we've had an abc correction coming into this wave four we've got non-linear support at this 89 ema cloud and again the links for these indicators will be uh, in the description of this video uh, but I use the 55 and the 89 EMA cloud to, to give me that non-linear support. One of the things we also look at for is that on the behavior of this wave four is the stochastics pulled over and crossed over in the oversold zone, which it is doing right now, which is fantastic. The behavior of the wave four on the early wave oscillator is very important. We take the highest point on the wave three on the oscillator and the zero and this wave four must pull back between 90 and 140 and we're within those parameters right now so we're, we're in this situation where everything looks good right now we just need for it to hold support and start to move up entry strategy is a little bit more difficult on the weekly we do have this resistance zone up here that i've drawn in where we've got multiple weeks trying to push through there and it's failed so we really uh, we'd like to trade this fifth wave and I'd love to get in early, but I need to make sure that we are on our way. Uh, so we probably got a couple more weeks price action to push up uh, pro probably above $300. But I probably won't use the Elliott wave for uh, for entry. I'm going to use the expert algo and I'm going to use it on the daily time frame most likely. Um, all I can say is, you know, on the weekly time frame, using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite and the EMA Cloud, we have found good support. It's been what we would call a traditional sort of. It's not really a complex wave four pullback. We've got an ABC correction in there, sort of. We've got good support. Uh, it's found the the low at the uh, the bottom of the channel here. Uh, so we we you know the behaviour is good for this current trend with Microsoft and we're looking to get in long. So, you know, for a long on the weekly, we'd probably look to get above this 6.4 moving average high here. But again, it's still a bit messy there. So we'll probably go to uh, the daily time frame, and I'd be looking out for um, an expert algo signal. Let's go back in time and see if I got it switched on even. No, I haven't, let's switch it on. 
So what we're looking for is an expert algo signal like these six star buys here, six star buy here. Um, what I'm looking for is another five or a six star buy signal. We can see uh, that um, this is the channel from the weekly on there. This is that uh, resistance zone. So what we're looking for really is a repeat of this six star buy signal and then go long above there. Our stock would depend on uh, recent pivots before the expert algo. We can see the bias depth heat map now on the daily. We are half and half. We're, we're neutral on some of the higher time frames for swing trading and we're bullish on some of the lower time frames. So we are getting there. It's just about being patient now, doing the groundwork, understanding what's happening on the weekly really. That longer term trend, this pullback against the trend looks normal the behavior is normal we've used the elliott wave indicator suite to really understand that behavior and say yes this is good if this support holds and we start to move away there's an 85 percent probability we're going to go and hit you know 375 380 in that automated fifth wave target zone there so all's looking good we just need to get an entry now and i think going down to the daily time frame uh, and looking for an expert algo type entry is probably the sensible thing to do right now. Hopefully that helps, uh, uh, you know, very quick, but you don't need to do that much work when you've got these indicator suites. Uh, so Microsoft, that's what we're looking for now, looking for another entry uh, in the coming weeks.